Welcome back. The SWAT Foundation provides intervention services to meet the urgent needs of the community, including things like school supplies for teachers and students throughout Georgia. As a community, they're working to partner together to serve 10,000 students by July. Here to tell us more about the initiative, Retooling the School, is the CEO and founder of the SWAT Foundation, Marquita Rucker and Elizabeth Higdon of the Pinup Photographer. So thank you both ladies, ladies for good joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Marquita, tell us about the SWAT Foundation and why it was started. Um, SWAT Foundation is a local um, nonprofit located here at the 600 building. And it was something that my mom started. And then she soon passed from multiple myeloma cancer. So I felt it was my responsibility to continue her legacy. And here we are. And uh, currently, you've got the goal to help 10,000 students uh, with school supplies. Why does this initiative, uh, retooling the school, what does that mean a lot to you? So retooling the school is providing school supplies um, so that students are academically successful. It's important to me for two reasons. One, I have been a teacher in the Richmond County school system um, for a long time, and I see firsthand how students come back to school without the tools that they need to be successful. So I know that being prepared plays a big part in achievement. And it's also important to me because I've been a single parent who needed the help. I've been in the lines of the school supplies, so I know how important it is to parents to be able to provide those school supplies for their children. And here you are today helping so many students and teachers out there. Elizabeth, you're a big part of this initiative. You're actually a sponsor. Mm -hmm. Tell us, you know, what does it mean to you to be a part of this and kind of your part in the whole event come July? I met Margarita almost three years ago, and we have been nonstop hitting the ground running on just trying to make sure that we're serving our community together. Um, my initiative with some of what I do with my business as far as photography is making sure to give back to the community. So that was important when I met SWAT and what Marquita does. And uh, there's going to be a back to school uh, bash in July. What can people expect and how can they help? How can the community assist? Well, one of the main things is we need help from the community. We are trying to partner with 100 community partners to make this initiative possible. So right now we currently have about 37 community partners, so we need 60 more. So we need the community to help us. And one thing that's different about this um, back to school bash than any other school um, back to school bash is that we're going to provide wraparound services. We want this event to be an actual hand up and not a handout. So we're going to be providing services um, through community partners like um, Augusta State University and Medical Associates Plus. They're going to be providing health screenings that children need to be able to keep them in school. We're going to be providing grooming services courtesy of Augusta Tech like free basic hairstyles and haircuts. We're going to be providing financial literacy courtesy of, of Regions Bank and we're also going to be providing access to employment opportunities. We want to decrease the amount of people that we want to serve annually so that our kids can be um, productive citizens. I love that. Hand up, not a handout. That's right. right. So many things going on and you're actually doing something special with your photography business as well. Yes, so I will be, of course, there covering the, the event like I'm always covering for SWAT. Um, we also do videography for the event as well, so lots of good things going on that particular day in July. And uh, Marquita, the SWAT Foundation, you've got other initiatives too, we uh, do. including uh, Healthy with SWAT and, and an Influence Her. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about those. So, Influencer is one of our favorite, one of my favorite programs that we have. It's an initiative to show women how to start and maintain their own business. And we actually have an upcoming in person training okay. June 24th. Come on out. Um, um, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And so that's one of our fa my favorite programs that we do. And then getting healthy with SWAP. Um, one thing um, my mom didn't find out till stage four that she had cancer. And all we did, all we knew was chemo and radiation. There's so many other things out there that can help. So we partnered with vegan chefs and they come down to the 600 building and they show people how to heal holistically um, by it starts with what you're actually putting in your body. So we provide that service free too. And we also do an annual health fair every year so that people can have access to free health care. If we can save just one person, that's what's important to me. That's, that's amazing, it. that's amazing. We kind of gave everyone a lot of information. There's a lot of things happening with <laughs> yeah. the Swan Foundation right now, right? June and July. So for people that want more information, you have the Back to School Bash, which is July 29th, yes. correct? 
Okay, where can they go for more information? They can actually go to our website or they can email us at SWATfoundationinc at gmail.com. And I also want everyone to know that this isn't just about SWAT. This is a community initiative. And that's why we're calling it the CSRA Mega Back to School Batch because we got so many people that are doing wonderful things with this initiative. So it's not even about me or about SWAT. It's about actually serving the kids who need to be served. SWAT Foundation, INC at gmail.com. Get the information there. And uh, we look forward to having a great batch with you. We do. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for having yeah, us. Thanks for coming. All right.